In this tutorial we will show how to simulate your first pumping project. The first step of a pumping project consists in defining the hydraulic circuit and water requirements. You may select several types of pumping systems. Select the deep well to storage type. You must define your tank's characteristics. You may also choose a bottom feed solution. You must define the well or drilling characteristics. The pump installation level must always be lower than the dynamic level. Once the drawdown is specified, the maximum flow rate will be automatically calculated. You may now define your hydraulic circuit characteristics. The number of elbows and other losses are optional. An orange message suggests the error does not block the simulation, whereas a red message indicates an error blocking the simulation. You may define the water requirements per year, per season or for each month of the year. This value corresponds to the static level defined in the hydraulic circuit window. If you change this value, it will also change the value of the current static level. The hydraulic characteristics of your circuit are now completed. You must define your PV and pump system for this simulation. To guide you with your sizing, a suggested pump size and PV field output is indicated in the bottom right. Several pump manufacturers are available. Choose the pump best suited to the characteristics of your installation. The pumps highlighted in red are not suitable for your installation and therefore cannot be chosen. In this window you must define the PV field and the regulation type. You can choose among several PV module manufacturers. Choose the PV module best suited to the characteristics of your installation and to the market. The type of regulation is set by default. You can manually define the regulation. You may modify the characteristics, number of PV in series, and number of strings. When the simulation is complete, you may analyze the results provided in the report.